Robert Paris, the warrior in the appearance of an artist. When he first moved to Arsenal, fans were throwing a lot of negative words toward him. He landed at Arsenal when he was part of the French team that won the Euro title and then created the most successful period in Arsenal history. In bringing Paris to the Highbury, the gunner overcame the other two big teams, Juventus and Real Madrid, with the persuasive power of Coach Wegner. But during his beginning in England, Paris was an extreme disappointment. He tormented himself that this was not where he belonged. That feeling was revealed by the French player himself later. The inner struggle always showed up in his mind. Leaving school when he was 15, he wanted to become a professional footballer. There were many difficulties when he first started, but his mother did not allow him to give up easily. Fortunately for Paris, he listened to his mother at that moment. And many times, the feeling of despair returned to bother him and made him hesitant. Eventually, Paris is still there. At age 19, after gaining a foothold in the local team, he joined Metz's training academy, and that was the beginning of the new history of his career. Paris' starting point was in the attacking midfielder position. Once the youth coach at the Mets club looked at his other qualities, he wanted Paris to play on the left wing. Paris said that he thought that idea was odd because there was rarely a right-footed player that played on the left wing, but that move changed his career. From the number 10 position, he became a winger with a liberal playing mind and gentle, smooth, and quick ball handling skills. His personality and style of playing are a combination of French romance and Latin improvisation when his father was Portuguese. Although he looked very shy and weak, inside him there is a very courageous personality similar to that of a bullfighter. In the 95-96 season, Perez reached the highest level at Mets with 13 goals and 49 appearances. He had the most appearances and had scored many goals in Mets's shirt. But best of all was the first championship he had won in his professional career when he and Metz won the French National Cup that year. Two years later, the midfielder moved to the Olympic Marcel. Perez and his wife, Natalie, once admitted that their happiest days were in this city. However, his football life there was not as he had desired. In the first season playing there, Marcel lost to Bordeaux in the League One and then lost to Parma in the UEFA Cup Final. He loved the city, but he was not in a good shape there. He then moved on to Arsenal, which opened up yet another new chapter for his career in England. But at the beginning, he became suspect in London and was cursed and chased away. Eventually, after six years as a gunner, Paris and the team wrote so many amazing stories there. And at that time, the coach at Metz's youth team did not know that dragging him to the wing and playing on the left would pay off. Without that move, perhaps Coach Wegner would not have had the opportunity to compare Perez to engine oil. Perez was like engine oil for Arsenal, on the vertical axis in the left corridor, and he became a terror for every team in England and in Europe. The peak of Perez's career was the second exciting season here. No one in the UK can match Perez's performance. With 15 passes, he reached the most assists in the Premier League in a football season and also won the Best Player of the Year award in the UK by the Association of Football Writers. It's hard to believe, but it was a huge achievement that Perez accomplished in a football season that had to end two months earlier. He had received a serious ligament injury in a match against Newcastle on March 23, 2002 in an attempt to get the ball. Perez later said that he heard the small sound from his leg when he touched the ground. Right after, he knew that he had been injured, but did not expect it to be such a terrible wound. For many players, that kind of injury is like an end to a footballer's life. After achieving many good performances with the gunner, Perez was like free falling to hell. But with the spirit of a man with the blood of a bullfighter inside, he was awakened. Perez understood that he could not always immerse himself in sleep to escape reality. He decided to study about his injury and spent seven months with serious treatment. Eventually, Perez was able to return stronger than ever, and fans saw Perez dancing with the ball once again. He was not a normal winger with high speed, but Perez was different compared to players playing in the same position in this league. Despite playing on the wing, he often used the skills of a number 10, often twisting the opponent's flanks and launching passes or shots by the right foot. 
Besides, he was extremely successful and gentle with first ball touches or the subtle one-touch finishes taking the ball over the head of the goalkeeper. Perez always knew how to amaze everyone. Watching Perez side by side with Vieri and Henri, they were like the three musketeers and created an unbeatable arsenal. That season, Perez led the team in assists and his 14 goals was second only to Henri in scoring. The moment Perez raised the title in the Premier League, the whole team had to bow down their heads. With a badly injured player, he came back stronger than ever before. For the national team in the 86th minute, Perez stepped off the bench to prepare to participate in the final of the Euro Cup 2000, which was also the moment when his name was brought to light. Then, the legendary defensive players like Paolo Maldini, Cannavaro, and Nesta forever remember the moment when Perez won the ball, dribbled on the left, and then passed the ball inside so that David Trezeguet could score and lead the French team to the throne of Europe. In the 2006 Champions League final, Perez had to step away from the field. Jan Lehmann soon received a red card, and Arsenal could not play without a goalkeeper, so Perez was forced to leave the game. It was a great loss for the people who loved him and for Perez himself. Wegner was very tormented by that decision, but he had no other choice. But then, his six-year marriage fell into ruin. He often lost sleep and was less focused and became irritable. After that final, Perez understood that he should leave. Landing in Villarreal, Perez played here for four seasons before returning to England to play for Aston Villa, one season. Perez suddenly chose India as the final destination in his illustrious career. Perez's most successful career was undoubtedly at Arsenal for six years. The Arsenal fans voted him the sixth greatest player in team history. He always gives the other players optimism and an indomitable spirit, especially to the players who are injured because he certainly understands the difficulties that come along with an injury. Thank you and your wonderful contributions. The legendary Robert Perez.